This video will show you how to set up and program your Intermatic ET2800 Series Basic Plus Astronomic Electronic Timer Control. For this video, we are using a two-channel ET2825C, but the steps are similar with all ET2800 Series timers. When the timer is first powered on, you can set the channels to be operated independently, simultaneously, or with a two-second pulse. Pressing the plus and minus buttons allows you to cycle through the options. Your choices will vary depending on the timer model and the number of channels. More in-depth instructions for your particular model can be found in your timer's manual. In most cases, the preferred setup is to have the option to control the channels independently. So choose Independent and then press the Enter button. The date will now flash on the screen. Set the month by using the plus or minus button until the correct month is shown and then press Enter. Now select the day and then Enter. And then the year. When the correct year is displayed and flashing, verify that the current day of the week is shown in the bottom of the display. Once confirmed as correct, press the Mode button to set the time. Press the plus or minus button to advance minute by minute, or hold down either button to scroll through more quickly. Be mindful of the AM-PM setting as you advance. Once the correct time is displayed, press the Mode button to continue. You can now turn the Daylight Saving Time setting on or off. For this example, we are in a part of the country that observes Daylight Saving Time, so we will leave this setting on and press the Mode button again. Now choose your country. We are in the United States, so we will select U.S. with the plus and minus buttons and then press Enter. Next, choose your state. Use the plus or minus button to advance to your state and then press Enter. Now choose the part of the state where the timer resides. For this example, we are in the northern part of Illinois, so we will use the plus and minus buttons until we see this indicated on the display and then press the Mode button to continue. The next screen shows the time for sunup in our area. If you wanted to change this time, you can do so with the plus or minus buttons. Or you can create an offset by pressing the enter button and then the plus or minus buttons. For this example, we want the timer to turn off right at sunup. So we will keep the setting as is and hit the mode button to advance. Now the time for sunset is shown. Press the mode button again to advance. This will take you to the Astronomic Programming screen. For this example, we will set up a basic astronomic program to turn the timer on at sunset and off at sunup. Press the Mode button until dashes appear on the center of the screen. And On-Off Events and Astro appear at the top of your screen. Because we just finished the initial setup of the timer, we are already on this screen. Press the Day button. You will see that the astronomic on time is set for sunset for all of the days of the week. You can change this by pressing the Day button to cycle through other preset day options. Or you can remove days with a combination of the Day and Plus or Minus buttons. But for this example, we want the timer to turn on at sunset every day of the week. So we will keep the first option selected and then press Enter. Now you can set the astronomic off time. Press the day button to go through your options. Because we want the timer to turn off at sunup for every day of the week, we will choose the first option and then press enter. If you have more than one circuit and you set the timer to control each circuit independently during initial setup, you will then need to set this time for every circuit that you would like to set. Each circuit is indicated by an on off button underneath the display. You can now see Load over the second on-off button, indicating that you are setting a program for the second circuit. Again, we will set the astronomic on time by pressing the Day button. As before, we want both circuits to turn on at sunset every day of the week. So we will choose the first option and then press Enter. Now we need to set the off time for the second circuit. Press the Day button and you will see the option for Off at Sunup for every day of the week. Since this is the option that we would like, again press the Enter button. And now the astronomic on and off times have been set and your timer is ready to execute the program. 
But what if you needed to modify these settings so that the timer turned off between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m.? You can do this by setting fixed time on and off events. Press the mode button and you will see one under the event number and fixed under setting. You can also see arrows pointing to both on-off buttons to indicate that both circuits are selected. You are now ready to set the on time. Hit the day button to display the time and days of the week you would like to set. We would like this event to occur every day of the week, so we will keep the first option selected. You can also control which circuits you are programming by pressing the on-off buttons to select and deselect each load. Because we want the program to affect both circuits, we will keep them both selected. Use the plus and minus buttons to scroll through the time. Because we wanted the timer to turn on at 5 a.m. after being turned off at 11 p.m., we will choose 5 a.m. for the on time event and then press enter. Now choose the off time event. You can see two under event number and fixed off under setting. Use the plus and minus buttons to choose your time. For this example, we wanted the timer to turn off at 11 p.m. after turning on at sunset. So we will choose 11 p.m. for the fixed off time and then press the mode button to exit the fixed programming screen. Press the mode button until the current time and auto are displayed on the screen. Your ET2800 Basic Plus electronic timer is now in automatic mode and ready to trigger the events you just programmed to turn on at sunset, off at 11 p.m., on again at 5 a.m., and off at sunup. And you're done. If you have any questions or need help at any step in the process, you can call or email technical support at the contact information listed on the screen. And be sure to check out our other videos on YouTube or visit our webpage for more tutorials.